Okay, so let me show you something here. I bought this sewing awl, and I want to show you how it's used. I went through a couple videos on YouTube and getting frustrated. There's a couple things that they didn't talk about that I felt was necessary. So anyway, this thing will come with three needles, different needles. Um, it comes with a spool or a bobbin, and then it comes with a cap that will keep the bobbin or spool inside the, the recess of this thing. Well, that's where the bobbin goes, and then the cap would go on that. Your, your uh, thread would come out. Um, if you wanted to, you can use this. I don't think it's necessary. Right now I have it threaded with some fishing line. But basically, whatever you use, you got to go through, or actually you don't have to, but you go through the hole. Inside this big hole, there's a small hole. Poke your thread through that. Poke your thread through this groove. There's another hole there. And then there's a groove in the uh, uh, this part here. Part of the collet where the needle sits and then you thread your needle just make sure that this groove here and the groove on the needle i think this is important line up and then you put your cap on making sure that you don't pinch your thread or your your thread in the threads of the collet so you just set that right in there and twist that on there and what this does is it clamps down on the needle and it'll keep the needle from pulling out this part here is kind of important, but you can uh, utilize whatever you want. This, what it does is it keeps your string or your thread um, tight on this end, so as you pull it out, it's not pulling the thread back this way. So that's what this does. Um, so once that's threaded like that, you get that kind of tight. You can use a pair of pliers if you want. What you want to do is, let's see here, I'll just utilize any, any piece of thread here. First thing you want to do with this is poke it through your material, okay? And then what you want to do is pull it back a little bit, and it'll form a couple loops. I don't know if you can see that or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you want to take that and pull out the, the thread, not from the bobbin side or the needle side, but from the other side. So you pull out your thread, and that's where it comes in handy where you can utilize this thing to keep it your thread held. You pull your thread all the way out of the hole and then pull your needle all the way out. So now you have your thread going through your hole. Here's where you start stitching now. So your second stitch is poke it through your material. And I'm using a, uh, a sanding block with some cork and pine on it. It just helps, especially for all the material you got to go through. So you want to poke it through there, okay? And then you want to back it out just a little bit. It's going to form two loops. Okay, this is the important part that nobody's talking about for some odd reason. You want to find out which side has got your groove of the needle in it, okay? Or which side doesn't. And you want to take your thread and put it through the side that does not have the groove in it. So you want to put it through that groove and just pull it. And then pull your needle back out. And that's where, again, this part helps. You can figure out how to do that on your own. You pull it back out, okay? And then you want to hold that and then pull your stitch tight. If it's not wrapped around this, it'll just keep pulling and it won't pull tight. Sometimes you can twist the needle on your, or the thread on your needle and just pull it tight. Second stitch, same thing. Poke it through. Okay. Get that thing through there. All the way through. Pull it back a little bit. Which side doesn't have the groove? Take your thread that's on that side and pass it through that one. Okay, not the one with the groove in it. Pull it through, hold everything tight, and pull it tight. And just keep doing that. And your last stitch, this is pretty easy, on the last stitch, you just poke it through. There's probably a better way to do this last stitch, but this is what I was taught. This is what the instructions say. You want to pull your thread, uh, I don't know, pull a bunch of it, about three, four, five, six inches, whatever you want, and just cut it. Okay. Cut the thread like that and then kind of hold both of them because you don't necessarily know which one's coming out or not. And then the one with the needle, that's going to pull out. That's gone. Now you have your two pieces of thread sticking out on that side. So figure out what kind of knot you want to you want to tie. Um, overhand knots. I don't know what's the best, which won't come out. But I just tie a bunch of knots. You know what I mean? I'll tie them like that and just crank them down. And then cut your excess thread. And uh, it should work.
Appreciate you watching. But again, the, the most important part is figure out which side's got the groove because that's how you threaded it. If you pass it through this side on the back side, it'll, uh, it won't work. And you'll figure that out right away. You're passing it through the wrong, uh, the wrong loop when it's on, when it's through there. So you want to pass it through this side, not the side with the groove on it. Okay. I hope that makes sense. But, um, again, that was one thing. And then this whole thing here, however you want to hold that thread as you're pulling it back out, you can figure it out. You can wrap your thread around the handle, around this thing, you know, twist your needle a few times, anything to, to utilize the, getting it taut. So I appreciate you watching. Hope that helps. Have a good day.